Wow, uh, I just recorded a whole intro and realized that I did not have my mic plugged in. So uh, yeah, hello, welcome to another sewing video. Uh, I have been feeling pretty uninspired by my sewing stash recently. My uh, stupid little brain was like, ah, you know what will fix this? Is if you made a boiler suit. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna make a boiler suit, the kind of, Clincher, I guess, is that I don't have enough denim in one color to make a boiler suit, but I do have enough denim in two colors to make a boiler suit. And then clincher number two is that I, I uh, don't have a pattern for a boiler suit. I'm gonna try and Frankenstein myself a boiler suit. My, uh, my little lizard brain just so desperately wants to buy shit uh, and my sewing stash cries out. And I know that if I buy fabric, then I will get bored of it just as I am of the fabric I already have, so. So I think the best way to go is to construct the pants and the shirt separately and then make the waistband and bring them together. So, pant. This is the True Bias Lander Pant. I've not made this before. So first thing is really just prepping all my pieces. So I need to put on the interfacing. So basically just prepping everything so that when I go to put the pants together, I can just put the pants together. facing, which I kind of had to improvise because I'm not doing the collar because I want to be able to wear this with collared shirts. I don't know if this is a bad idea, but this is what we're doing. So I'm going to put the facing on the two shirt front pieces and then we can go through and get the pockets ready and, oh, sorry for the liner, um, I guess I'm making the shirt. So I took that pattern, um, that shirt pattern, and I made it, but I made it shorter and I took off the collar. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Nothing else is different. Oh, I lengthened the sleeves and I added cuffs. Um, they're very slouchy cuffs, which I decided is what I wanted. Um, I could have gone for a more like an interfaced cuff, but I like this kind of like sweatshirty vibe that it has and I think it'll look cute. I hope that this is long enough and I think with the waistband it will be because I think the waistband will sit kind of like here, but it'll be pushing it, but we're getting close. 
All right, so I've made a fair bit of progress. So I had to order this from Joann's and go pick it up, unfortunately, but uh, we make do with what we have. And it is kind of a nasty blue. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I thought it was gonna be a cooler blue, but it's okay, we'll make do. We have the pamps. top is really close to done actually um so you can see it's like that it's gonna be really big and baggy kind of sweatshirty um really close to done um really all I have to do is some top stitching uh and attach it to the pants um and then we're good to go so let's do it let's finish this baby up I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think it's really cute. It's incredibly comfortable. I am six feet tall, so generally jumpsuits always like pull when I raise my arms, so it's very nice. Hi, baby. Very nice to be able to wear a jumpsuit that is just like so comfortable. There were some technical issues. The waistband, God, I don't even know if you can see it on camera. The waistband is bad. Um, I might see him rip it out at some point and just redo it, which might fix it or might not. It's just like kind of twisty. It doesn't really fit. It doesn't lay flat. My only other concern is the top stitching isn't super even, but um, the nice thing is I think I could just go in and redo the top stitching at any point. Um, yeah, you can't really see the nasty blue zipper, <laughs> luckily because it's underneath here. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it. I'm really proud of myself for deciding to do something with what I already had instead of buying something new, even though I did spend a lot of last night looking at fabric. Um, but I haven't bought any yet, so. I would say the boiler suit was is a remarkable success. So that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you wanna see me sew or illustrate or anything. Have a good one, bye. What was cool? Um, I feel like the coolest things are just the smoothest looking things. So whatever you feel most confident. Oh, hold on, I'm about to get hit by a car.